Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo, it is believed, was born in Portugal, on March 13, 1499, and raised in Spain from an early age, although there is no definitive proof of this. There is no record of his family to speak of, although the name Cabrillo is still in existence as a surname, in Portugal. As to who his parents were, or whether he had any siblings, is not known. What is known, is that on his travels, while gaining much financial success in gold mining in Guatemala, and becoming one of the richest conquistadors in Mexico, he made a local woman his common-law wife. Together they had several children. On his return to Seville, later on, he officially married Beatriz Sanchez de Ortega. Returning to Guatemala with Juan, she later bore him two sons. Again next to nothing is known of what, if any education, Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo may have received as a boy. It could be assumed, that he had sufficient knowledge not only to have amassed such huge wealth from gold mining, but in the relatively short time, from leaving his home, to voyage to the New World, it could be said, that kind of knowledge might not be available to a lowly seaman, on a working vessel. His wealth also enabled him to build his own business in shipbuilding, and to build his own personal vessel. When Rodriguez Cabrillo was hoping to discover a route connecting the North Pacific to the North Atlantic, he also hoped, like so many other explorers of the era, to discover the whereabouts of the seven golden cities of Sibylla, the mythical seven cities of gold. Although he was not successful in the discovery of the golden cities, he was however, the first European to set foot on what is now known as California. Although he named many of the places they sailed to, Sadly none of these names remain today. Forced to retrace their voyage, due to autumnal storms, they dropped anchor in San Salvador, modern-day Santa Catalina, to see out the winter months, make repairs, and restock before completing their journey home. On November 23, 1542, Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo's men came under attack from local Dongva warriors, and in his haste to assist his men, Juan stumbled on jagged rocks disembarking from his boat and he splintered his shin. Unfortunately for the time, it was not surprising his injury developed an infection, which became gangrenous. Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo died on January 3, 1543. His body was laid to rest, and it is thought, a headstone was discovered on San Miguel Island.